What's happening everybody? Jeff Anderson here with One Fish, Two Fish on Florida Fishing Products YouTube channel. And today I wanna to talk to y'all about how to choose the right soft plastic lure. And so it definitely changes uh, throughout the year and also just kind of whatever you're fishing for. So I wanted to give y'all some very useful tips that's gonna actually save y'all tons of money and actually time on the water. Um, the first tip that I wanna give y'all uh, just right off of the bat that's gonna save you tons of money is we're gonna talk a lot about Berkley Gulp. And Berkley Gulp is an excellent soft plastic bait to use. But if you've ever used Berkley Gulp in any time from when the water temp is above like mid 60s into the 70s, you are going to get tail biters. And it's pretty much like throwing dollar bills in the water. And so the first thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about just to start off with something that's gonna save you hundreds of dollars is when the water temp is above like in the 60s and 70s and where we are at in the mid-Atlantic, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina area, that's pretty much gonna be any time from early May through October, we are pretty much not gonna use Berkeley Gold because you're gonna have your penfish, your spot and croaker, and you're literally gonna be throwing dollar bills in the water. So let's first start with the summertime and the soft plastics that I like to use coming out of spring and into summer. So coming out of spring and in the summer, I'm gonna be using, well, really almost any soft plastic is gonna work this time of year to catch you fish. So where I'm at in the Virginia, North Carolina and South Carolina area, we fish those three states quite often, um, shrimp, are really going to start to you'll start seeing like smaller shrimp as the summer progresses the shrimp get larger and larger and in the fall you're going to be seeing what we like to call bull shrimp and those are like kind of late fall um season where you're going to see those larger shrimp but to kind of match the hatch uh and duplicate what the fish are keying in on for their bait which is really important so in the summertime, shrimp is gonna be one of the top baits and lures that you're gonna use. So I like to use the Z-Man, uh, the Easy Shrimp Z. Um, I primarily use these two colors. Let's see if I have the other one. So this is the Root Beer Chartreuse color. So this is a great color uh, for fishing South Carolina, you know, Charleston, Low Country. Um, and even North Florida as well gets those flood tides and you get some of that darker water. So this root beer flake color is great. This actually, if you're in Louisiana or certain parts where you have that just kind of darker water. So these Z-Man shrimp are great in the summertime because they're very durable and you can pretty much use the same bait the whole day. Um, and those tail biters aren't going to really do too much damage on this. Whereas say like a Berkeley Gulp shrimp, almost one shrimp per cast sometimes because those tail biters are gonna be so thick. So that's a bait and I typically use like a smaller shrimp, uh, generally speaking. Um, if I wanna get really specific with it, then I might use like a smaller shrimp pattern bait um, earlier in the summer and then as the summer progresses and the shrimp get larger and into the late summer, then I might you know go into using something like, this is a DOA bait buster. So this is excellent, you know, um, really all summer long. But, you know, again, this just gives you that profile of what I'm talking about. I actually don't have a larger shrimp um, soft plastic with me right here in the second because we're self-quarantining uh, right now with the coronavirus. But this profile, as you can see, it's a little bit larger. Um, this Z-Man is great to use. So this, this size bait is typically one like a shrimp pattern that I like to use earlier in the summer and then something like this as the summer progresses and the shrimp get a little larger. So another popular thing for soft plastics in the summertime is gonna be your popping cork. Um, we do have a tutorial on these on the Florida Fishing Products channel, so y'all please make sure to go over and check that out if you don't know how to fish a popping cork. But a popping cork to me is insanely effective all summer long. I'm always gonna have different popping corks in my tackle bag um, throughout the summer. Um, the fish are going to be more active. They're going to be, um, you know, busting on bait. They're, you know, just not going to be skittish at all like they are different times of the year. So a popping cork is going to draw 
you know, a redfish, a trout, you know, their, you know, attention and even, you know, your snook and a lot of times tarpon too. So, um, you know, a popping cork is definitely going to be something that you want to use. Okay. So in the summertime, shrimp is pretty much going to be my number one soft plastic that I'm going to use in the summer um, and into the fall. Uh, I also like to use, again, like the DOA Bait Buster. That's really popular in Florida, and you know it's a very popular snook bait. Um, and so this is a Z-Man uh, trout trick right here. And I like this because I can fish this underneath of a popping cork. You've got some great action in the tail. It's a little bit more slender profile, so it actually does resemble a little bit of like a shrimp pattern to it. And then you've got the paddle tail as well for a little bit more action. So this is great because you can bounce it along just like a shrimp. You can fish it underneath of a popping cork. It's absolutely great. So these two, if I had to say in the summertime, are pretty much my favorite soft plastic lures. In the fall, again, shrimp is gonna be, as the summer progresses, the climax of really that shrimp bite, at least in the mid-Atlantic fisheries and the southern fisheries, the climax of that shrimp bite is going to really be, you know, that September through October is when the redfish and the trout are really going to be keying in on shrimp. So popping corks are still going to be deadly. Um, I will absolutely have this same exact shrimp, you know, bait. This So I'll absolutely have this shrimp soft plastic in my tackle bag. Um, but but something that I also want to talk about during this time of year as the summer progresses and you get into fall, um, I actually like to fish a lot larger profile baits. So again, like this DOA, you know, soft plastic right here, uh, this larger bait buster pattern. If you have a soft plastic, anything that's a little bit larger. So for Z-Man, they make a diesel Minnow Z and um, that's an excellent uh, soft plastic in the fall. Um, you know, a lot of our, uh, so a lot of our inshore game fish, trout, redfish, um, snook, flounder, they're going to be keying in on, you know, as the bait fish have had all summer to get larger, you know, again, the size of the bait that we're going to be using in the fall is going to be a little bit larger as well. Not to say the only soft plastic I'm going to throw is larger, but um, the fish are not going to be as, so, but the fish are definitely not going to be as picky because in the fall, um, our game fish, they're just trying to eat as much and pack on as much pounds as possible to get through the winter time. So a little bit larger bait in the fall is pretty much the name of the game for soft plastics in the fall. So as we get into late fall and early winter, you know, the fish start to, you know, really their metabolism slows up. The water temperature cools down. So the mullet run happened and all the, a lot of the bait has moved out of our what intercoastal waterways and our backwaters and our flats. Um, you know, the, there's not as much crabs around and uh, so there's not as much options at the dinner table for our inshore game fish. And because their metabolism slows down, um, we like to, we still use some larger profile baits um, depending on where you're at. Like in Virginia, when we get into December, that water really gets cold and we just like to th throw our confidence baits or we like to throw um, smaller profile baits. So in the winter time, uh, my favorite uh, soft plastic is going to be the Minnow Z. Um, pretty much because a lot of the forage and bait for the predator uh, fish are going to be like just gudgeons, uh, mud minnows, and uh, smaller bait fish about this size right here. So these are excellent, um, you know, just wintertime soft plastics. Uh, you can also, I love these, the action in the tail, like even see when I'm like holding it, the tail is still moving. So underwater, um, even when your bait is just sinking to the bottom, it's still going to have some nice action in the tail. So I love this because you can apply different techniques to this bait, whether you're bouncing it on the bottom, whether you're slow rolling it across the bottom, or whether you're going to be you know, so whether you're slow rolling it across the bottom or just really however you want to fish it, there's a lot of versatility with this bait. But this is really the, but this is really what our inshore game fish are going to be keying in on in the winter time and also into spring. 
So this Z-Man, Minnow Z, and just any sort of like a minnow pattern is something that I'm gonna wanna fish um, in the winter time and in the springtime. Um, okay, so if you're not familiar, so if you're not familiar with like the general comparison between Berkeley Gulp and Z-Man, um, Berkeley Gulp is more expensive, but the scent is amazing. Z-Man doesn't have as much scent, which is why you can solve that problem by using Procure, which you can use all year round. If you are using Z-Man in the winter time, then you're definitely gonna be using Procure. Um, but in the winter time and definitely into spring is when we're gonna be using more Berkeley Gulp because in the winter time and in the spring, so the fish aren't gonna be as active as they are in the fall. Again, their metabolism is much slower. They're still gonna be feeding, but it's more on a survival basis and less on like an opportunistic basis. So that's where anything you can do to incentivize the fish to bite or to strike is gonna be that much more advantageous in the winter time and moving into spring, especially spring in our Southern fisheries, because really primarily the redfish um, are gonna be getting beat up by angling pressure and the pressure from dolphins um, throughout the winter time. So that's why a lot of guides primarily use live bait or cut bait um, in the springtime because the redfish, are, that's really when they're gonna be kind of skittish. So that's really when the redfish are gonna be skittish in that March and April. But Berkeley Gulp is pretty much gonna be the number one soft plastic that we're gonna use in the winter time and in the spring. The um, patterns that we like to use for Berkeley Gulp are gonna be swimming mullet, and then they also make a mud minnow pattern, which again, I do not have here right now. I wish I could go to the tackle shop and get it. But, um, you know, again, we're coronavirus quarantining right now. So in the spring, so in the, so in the winter and spring, Berkeley Gulp is gonna be amazing. Um, just that scent, that added, that little bit extra added scent is gonna be great. And these Z-Man uh, minnow Zs. Anything that mimics a uh, smaller bait fish, minnow, gudgeon, mud minnow, anything of that major finger mullet is gonna be very effective. So that right there is a general breakdown on soft plastics throughout the year and how to choose the best soft plastics. Hopefully that helps you all out and you guys get up off your butt, go catch yourself some fish. Peace out.